Hi, in this video what I want to talk about is how you can combine effects to get kind of a Thomas Kincaid style of painting, if you will. What you can do is you can go into the effects menu and you can select circle paint. Now I'm just demonstrating one method and one way to do it. Uh, you know, when you do different settings it'll have a different effect. It's just a matter of experimenting and playing around. And in this case what I'll do is I'll go ahead and set the smooth. And you can see it already looks pretty interesting. I could uh, draw edges around it, for example, and do all sorts of different types of effects. I can do a different um, texture, uh, which is more of a paper texture. In this case, I think I'll stick with the canvas. And what I'll do is I'll bring the decimation out to really bring it down and make it blocky. And then I'm gonna combine it with another effect in a couple minutes. And so I'm gonna and go ahead and accept that. I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and bring the sharpness up a little bit just to bring out the, uh, the texture on the canvas, and then I'll press accept and then I'll go back to the quick edit mode. So already you can see it looks pretty interesting. I, I always like the circle paint because what it does is it gives you this uh, sort of effect where someone took a large brush and just started dabbing it. And you can also combine this with other effects. You can draw the edges to make it look interesting. I uh, have a tutorial on the circle, just the circle paint alone that you can look at. So now what I want to do is I want to revert to the original image. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an oil paint. And again, these are just settings that I'm using. You can use any settings and they'll create different effects. And you can see already that if I just wanted to choose this, for example, it's a pretty nice painting all by itself. If I choose different settings, for example, it, it, it will make it look different. In fact, I think I'll take that one. I really like that one. And notice that I texturized the other one and I'm not texturizing this one. I only want to texturize it once with the canvas. I'm going to use a textured brush though to really bring out the brush strokes. You can see that uh, as I increase the sharpness now in here you can see the brush strokes a little more clearly because it uh, uses a texture on, on the brush itself. And so I'm going to just go ahead and accept that too. And then just like before I'm going to go back into the quick edit mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do edit and do view undo history and then where I did the circle paint, I'm going to load that. Okay, well, I have to be honest here. For the next two minutes, I actually lost this audio, so I'm replacing the audio. And so right here, I was probably talking about something. I don't know. Obviously, it didn't have anything to do with the tutorial. So there's the original oil paint. And so what I have is I have in the undo buffer, I have the oil paint and the circle paint because I loaded the history. And so I'm showing the differences there. I like the oil paint as it is already, actually. It's probably what I was saying in the video before I lost the audio. Um, and so again, I'm showing you that I have the uh, circle paint in there. Now I'm going into the blend undo image. And what I'm doing here is the it, it, it can, the blend undo image will mix the undo image. What I'm showing is you can mix it by percentage, but it really doesn't have the same effect here. And so I'm going to be explaining this in another video what this does. But I'm using overlay mode that mixes it differently. And when you mix it, you can see it it blends in a different way where you really do have a blending, not just by percentage, but um, it takes some of the other, uh, some of one image and some of the other, and I can pick reversed or normal. I just pick the one I want. Uh, I want this in this particular case. I want the edgier one. As you can see, I want reversed, whereas normal is a little softer. It just depends on the picture. And then what I'm doing is it adds contrast when you use the overlay mode. And so I'm putting a, the same light back. Uh, and then I know I also explained that this is an advantage of 16-bit editing that you, you can do this repeatedly and not really lose any any data. So now I have basically another image which looks really nice. It's definitely different than the oil paint and the circle paint. It's, it's a combination and now what I'm doing is I'm loading the original image to get a little more detail. So you can see there's the image I created which I really like and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did before. Again I clicked reversed and uh, well it depends I'm gonna click normal on reverse and see what I like but I'm gonna use the overlay mode again I'm showing that you can use the screen mode and other modes to get different effects but now I'm going back into the overlay mode where I am combining the original and you can see it adds a bit more definition and again I use reversed and normal and just just pick the one I like the best there's really no science to it it's just whatever looks better and then I'm go, gonna go ahead and keep that 
And now the good news is, is that I have the original audio, so it won't seem like I'm trying to figure out what I was doing. And so what you can see here is that I have basically what looks like a pretty decent painting. It looks like I used a lot of coarse brush strokes. Uh, you may remember on the oil paint, I did that on purpose. I, I made a kind of a coarse sort of uh, painting, whereas if I'd made a smoother painting, this would have been smoother too. What I can do, uh, like I said just a second ago, that anytime you, you blend the original, it's going to add definition. I could even go in here. It's just a matter of playing around. It's, uh, it's no strict formula. I'm just showing one aspect of it you can see that it's that it's adding a little bit more definition in fact I think I like that it's starting to look more like a traditional sort of painting um, you know kind of all of Thomas Kincaid and that sort of thing and again back to light and this is an advantage of 16-bit uh, per channel editing over 8-bit per channel you'd never really be able to get away with this sort of quality uh, adjusting it every time and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go into the Dodge and Burn brush so that I can darken certain elements and lighten certain elements to a style that I think is more fitting to a painting, which is really what I want to do is I want to highlight these light areas. So I'm going to just go ahead and darken the midtones around the light to bring out the light and the light on the tree. And then I'm going to go ahead and brighten certain areas in here to give it a little bit of contrast, and particularly this, this snow in the foreground here. And uh, again, it's just a matter of aesthetics and how, how you like to see things, and, uh, and then just play around with it. Uh, I tend to play around too much to the point where I have to back off or you know, ruin things after a while. In fact, what I can see right here is I, I really want to do, use the undo brush to uh, just undo this, this part a little bit. I think it's getting a little too dark. And then what I can do is I can look at it full screen, which looks really nice, but what I can also do is I can now sharpen with the, um, I actually I'll just do a quick sharpen here. And what it does, you can see it's really brought out the texture on the canvas now. And so now I have what really looks like a nice painting. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add a border on it to give some sort of context with a, with a shadow. And so there's the finished result right here. You can see it's definitely a different picture and it looks very painting-like. Again, you can use the oil paint to get a certain quality. You can use the circle paint to get a certain quality. This effect here gives it uh, yet again a different quality, but it also comes more in line with a lot of traditional paintings that we see out there, especially these of these wintry scenes. So here's an example of another one that I did in more of a watercolor fashion where I just didn't do things as coarsely and I used a paper texture instead of a canvas texture. And you can see it's, it's, it's quite a bit different than, than the one that I just did. In fact, let me get to the original and show you what that looks like. And so what you can see is that it's very much quite different than, than the one, than the original. And so that's just a couple of the effects that you can do by mixing effects and using the watercolor, and, I'm sorry, the circle paint and the oil paint, but this specific tutorial was getting this kind of Thomas Kincaid-ish, use that term loosely, just more of that style of painting with the sage light functions that are, that are already ex existing by using the um, image blending.